and welcome back. Um, we were testing out this VC3 Pro. Yeah, v v VCV3 Pro. <laughs> I always get confused with some of these naming conventions that these guys have. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you guys are interested in this device, check the description below. It got a good deal and coupon for you. If you guys want this one that I have on hand, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com because someone's going to grab it quick. Going to let it go for pretty cheap. Hook somebody up. First one that hits me up, going to get a good deal. Okay, let's come here to the device and see exactly what we get. So um, you do have a couple stuff here. And with the device, there's a lot of options here. So when it comes to updates, people always ask software updates. What do I get? Come here to software updates. You have a local and an online. So we're going to hit online. Local is if you have something on hand via USB, plug it in local. This one online, it checks if there's anything out there. It says I have the latest version. If you don't need it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If something's happening, you need to reach out to um, to the company to do whatever they need to do. Okay, um, system settings. This is pretty good because it has everything here that you need. Device preferences. I always tell, tell people if you come here and you go to about, come all the way down to enter TV OS build, click this bunch of times, you are now a developer. Hit the back button once developer options right there you got enable developer options usb debugging is right here everything that you need is there um, you could also go right back to about and do a system update and this will go back to that one page so just keep in mind there is a shortcut on the outside um, when it comes to display and sound you have your screen resolution screen positioning whatever you need to do see it says uh, always hdr here's, here's your 4k 60 and then your color space is all right there you could also set some stuff up here for advanced audio so depending on your formats you could set up for surround sound or whatever it else that you need so people are very picky in particular when it comes to that that's how you do it um, storage of course you can see your memory and all that stuff if you come over here to apps and you scroll all the way down security and restrictions if you click on this you're going to find your um, unknown sources and this is where you could turn some of these things on so pretty nice and easy how you can keep all that stuff updated yeah it's pretty cake um, when it comes to system info this is where you can go and see what it is that you that you want same thing with your power you could go standby power off or restart this is uh some of your um functionalities that you could set as a preset on the remote so not too bad on the top here you do have market google play store so log into the google play store when it comes to prime video netflix youtube all that stuff you need to have logins for that stuff some of this is paid subscriptions like prime video netflix disney Netflix is for sure mobile mode. I think Prime Video and Disney might be in 4K mode. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Um, when it comes to file browser, if there's anything else that you need to update, just go to allow uh, local disk. And then if you go to downloads, this is where you could find all your um, your APK stuff. So I went way too far. Um, yeah, just come right there to downloads and whatever APKs you got. This is where you're going to be able to get it. So pretty good. Nice and easy. Um, if you want to go to settings, this is how you could go and set your stuff up. You got your network, sound and display. So this is going to be a little bit different than the other side. You got your output, picture mode, enable sound effects, enable audio pass through. Very important. Pass through mode. Um, this is also important. You could either go through optical or HDMI, whatever it is that you want. Um, and then same thing here for output mode video. I already have it set up to 4K. So in the initial setup, you actually have these options. So it's pretty good. You got some of your common stuff here. So language, your board, your time, factory reset, stuff like that. Updates. Again, we already went through this option in the front. And then all your apps here that you already have. Either you need to get rid of, download, whatever it is. If you don't know, if you're just like, I don't know what this is. Android service library. I need to delete it. Don't do it. If you don't know what that is, don't do it. Some of this stuff is uh, crucial for the device to work. Um, if you do come down here to the bottom to recommend it and you go to contact us, super important here. Here's the QR codes. If you're having any kind of issues with your updates, with keeping your device running or anything with buffering issues, whatever it is, it's right there. 
you have a Telegram community, um, news dev updates, vote for new channels. You got your official website, online chat. And there's your time frame. Looks like East Coast time. Um, you have your WhatsApp tech support, email, and more. Scan or, or code by phone camera. Pretty easy and, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, speed test and Firefox down here at the bottom. You do have memory clean. This is important. I always use this every now and then just to clean it. I was at like 50-something percent. Now I'm down to like 30-some percent. Pretty good. Yeah, I got to say, this thing is actually like super solid and very easy to use. Yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys haven't heard of some of these boxes, consider subscribing because there's a lot of stuff coming out and there's always improvements and always upgrades. And some of the stuff that this has like featured and stuff is is pretty decent. So let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this device pretty smooth i haven't had one hiccup yet with this thing um remember you need to have good wi-fi good internet speed i know people say i tried this app but then i go to some other app and doesn't work apps run different you can't say like well i have this honda and then i try this corvette and the honda doesn't run as good as this corvette does well no kidding <laughs> um a car is a car but yeah make model and all that stuff make a difference let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and as always you guys take care take care of each other i'll see you guys in the next one